okay guys my chicken and potato bake is ready can you guys see how delicious and yummy and juicy that looks so guys this is my chicken this is soft chicken and it's drumstick so i've already washed this chicken nice thoroughly so it's nice and clean i also have my potatoes i have the red onions green bell pepper and the red bell peppers i'm also going to be using butter this is butter you can use any butter of your choice or oil maybe olive oil or vegetable oil so what i'm going to do i'm going to go and peel my potato cut them cut the peppers and the onions and i'll be back once i finish doing that So I finished rinsing the potato, I'm going to add a little tiny bit of salt, about that much. I'm going to put it on the cooker. So the potato, I'm going to parboil it. I'm not going to allow it to get soft. I'm just going to parboil it, maybe like half cook. So now I'm also going to parboil the chicken. This is my chicken. I'm going to add uh, half chicken seasoning. It's just chicken now. I'm going to leave every uh, all the ingredients or uh, all the seasoning I use. I'm going to leave it in description so you guys can see. I'm also going to be adding aromant. You guys, you know I can't do without aromant. Not a lot though, just to season the chicken. I'm also going to be using curry this is curry powder a little bit i'm also going to be using chili powder i'm also going to be using garlic you can also use fresh one doesn't matter dry thyme Come on.
later. I'm going to use black pepper. So now I'm going to add water. Going to mix it thoroughly. And uh, when I was washing the chicken, as you guys can see, I used knife to cut in between so that it will be well seasoned inside. You know, you don't just want just the, you know, out, it's outside to be seasoned. You want the chicken to marinate properly inside and out. So I'm going to also parboil this. I'm going to half parboil it, not cook, 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 cook. But once it starts boiling, yes, it will be ready. Okay, so while everything is parboiling, I'm going to cut my pepper. You can cut your pepper to any shape of your choice. You can also use um, the yellow bell pepper. I bought it, I wanted to use it, <laughs> but my daughter, she loved pepper so much, she just added it yesterday. So, as I showed earlier, I'm using red onions. And to tell you guys, you can also use white onions. It doesn't matter any onions you use. Okay. So, guys, the chicken have parboiled. I'm gonna take it out. So is the potatoes. Can you guys see? It's boiling, so it's ready. So guys, what I'm just doing, I'm taking out the chicken from the stock. So I have a plastic here. I'm, I'm going to pour the potatoes. <sighs> Sorry with the... <laughs> with the steam so i'm going to leave the two aside so guys i have a plain flour here uh this is plain flour you can use maybe all purpose or um, self-raising flour but this is plain flour i'm also going to be adding milk please if you don't if you're allergic to milk or one reason and the other you don't drink milk you can skip it and use water okay so i'm just Missing that. So, guys, this is the uh, chicken stock, and I'm adding butter about this much. Let's say one and a half tablespoon of butter. If you don't like butter or you don't want oil or butter, you can skip this part. You don't have to add butter. You can just add your flour just to thicken it. So we are making like a gravy. You can allow the butter to melt first, but it doesn't really matter. Everything will melt together. <laughs> so just 
going to mix that. If you think it's getting too thick, you can add water or milk. Or if you had any excess stock, you can add to it. That's why when you are seasoning your chicken, you have to make sure that the, the you taste the stock and you make sure that it's well seasoning, it's not too salty and all of that. You have to make sure it's nice and seasoning and delicious, <laughs> you know. Okay, so I'm going to allow this to cook for about five minutes. So uh, before I allowed it to cook for five minutes, and if you taste it and you think, oh, it's a bit too salty, you can add a bit more of water or you can add sugar. So my own is a bit, I think it's the butter that make it slightly salted, slightly. So I'll be adding brown sugar because these days I use brown sugar in my house. So that's what I'll be using. This is optional, please, guys. So you can use you can add more water or you can just add a little bit of sugar any sugar you use okay so let me taste it mm. oh yes perfect so i'll be back in about three minutes so guys it's ready so guys i'm taking it out from the cooker and i'm going to add my potatoes I'm going to mix it together. So this is the right time to add my green and red and onions. This is optional. You don't have to add this particular vegetables you can just add any vegetables of your choice so i'm going to mix everything together oh look at the color it's so beautiful guys look at that it is so beautiful okay beautiful beautiful So now I'm going to pour it in my baking pan. <laughs> so now, guys, I'm going to add the chicken. This could have been one of my uh, Christmas lunch, <laughs> my one of my meal for Christmas lunch, but because you guys, you know the story. Okay, so I'm going to allow this to bake, 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 bake. So guys, uh, the gravy, this is some, I just add a little bit, um, more of chili powder so that I can give it more a bit of redness and I add a bit more of butter so I'm just going to rub it with the chicken so that it can bake nicely you know this is optional as well if you don't want to add it you can just bake the chicken the way it is you know Okay, so now it's ready. It's ready for the oven. So I'm gonna pop it in the oven and bake it for about about 30 minutes on 150. Okay, guys, my chicken and potato bake is ready. Can you guys see how delicious and yummy and juicy that looks? So I bake it for 30, about 35 minutes, as I said. So yeah, it's ready. You're ready to dig in. 
so thank you guys for watching if you are new to my channel you like to see more recipes do not forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell to see more videos not just recipe daily vlog a lot of vlogs <laughs> i'll see you guys in my next video love you all bye